Hey guys, the objectives for this video is to look at the relationship between TV, dimensionless time, dimensionless depth, Z on H, and U. And we're going to define these in a second, and then we're going to do an example. So, we already know dimensionless time from the previous video as CV times T on H squared, where H is the drainage path. The next thing we need to define is Z on H. Just to show you why we're going to be defining these factors, we're going to be using this graph, which looks like this, which has dimensionless time on the curves, which has Z on H on this axis, which is dimensionless depth, and has U on this axis. So we're going to first define all these things. So Z on H, Z is the depth we're concerned about, so the depth we are looking at, and H is the drainage path. And this is obviously dimensionless because you're dividing meters by meters to get just a, a number. So just to do a couple of quick examples just to show you what I mean. Say we have one-way drainage. Okay, so we have a one-way drainage case. And let's say that we are looking, first of all, at a point which is at the center of the layer. So center, the center of this layer, so over around there. So, if this was, say, okay, because it's one-way drainage, that total distance is H, and we're looking at the center, so we're going to appoint Z from the surface. So, you can see just graphically that Z on H would be a, a half, right? Z is a half of H, so Z on H would be a half. I can show you this with numbers. Say H was um, 8 meters and that means that Z would be 4 meters to the center of the layer, the Z on H would be 4 on 8, which is 0 0.5. So if you're ever confused, you can always just make up some numbers to see what's going on.